governments of the International Commission for the Conservation of Atlantic Tunas, also known as ICAT, met during a week-long meeting in Agadir, one of Morocco's main fishing port towns, to negotiate a variety of conservation measures for tuna and other ocean species. Although they adopted positive measures that will help conserve Atlantic bluefin tuna and advance shark protection in the future, they deferred meaningful action on other pressing matters. Ocean Zinc brings you this special report from Agadir, where I have been talking with the Pew Environment Group, one of the leading NGOs at the meeting, and delegates from Japan and the US to get their reaction to today's conclusions. The outcome for Atlantic bluefin tuna at this year's ICAT meeting has been good. Quotas have been set in the west for the next year and in the east for the next two years in line with scientific advice. Up till 2009, quotas in the east were not set in line with scientific advice, leading to a stock that was heavily overfished. The fact that these quotas are now being set in line with the advice is very good news. Uh, we finally uh, confirmed the sign of recovery. That was a good thing. Like it as a whole, but uh, it takes time to you see to have or to uh, receive benefit from the recovery. So we have to move step by step. ICAT's conclusion was a mixed day for sharks. For individual shark species, it wasn't necessarily a good day. But with ICAT agreeing to take efforts on compliance and enforcement on sharks and to amend its treaty to have responsibility for sharks, it's a good day looking forward to the future. Sharks, uh, we have to expand the scientific research and uh, monitoring of the fishing activities act affecting the shark stocks. Yes. I think we've done some very good things. We have started the, the process of, of recognizing and evaluating the, the, the sharks and their, 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 their status, and identified those that are most vulnerable and need the most protection and done some stock assessments. But there are disappointments too. For the United States, having the uh, requirement that sharks be landed with their fins naturally attached is very important. It really will help to improve the science. It will help to improve the enforcement of the, the prohibitions against finning at sea. ICAT this year took some steps to curb illegal fishing, including adopting a port inspection scheme so governments can control and stop illegal fish coming into their ports. But there's still so much more that needs to be done to stop the scourge of illegal fishing. Uh, we defer lots of problems, including sharks, to the next year. So again, next year's meeting would be a tough one. So I, we have to work hard again. Thank you very much.